Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Sharon out. Great morning. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thumbs up. These are so good. Crescents with blueberry cream cheese. Mixed berry cream cheese. Yeah. Hey, Joy. Good morning. She's watching ads. Hi, Joy. Good morning, Queen. I'm eating some crescent rolls with um, mixed berry cream cheese. So good. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> nice, nice. I know, right? How you doing today? This morning. Oh, this coffee is so delicious. I know that's right. No need to just live and just shake it off. It's so hard to not complain. Not easy. I wish I had nothing to complain about, but today I don't. Not yet. Not yet. I started off with a good morning. Got the kids up on time. That helped my morning a lot. Had their clothes out last night and ironed and did hair. Helped me a whole lot. Do I have to go into the office? I wish, girl. You mean like a job? Oh no, girl. I work from. I, I'm working from home. 
speaking into existence, honey, because I'm trying to get my own building. You at work now? Okay. Well, thank you for stopping in. I want to get my own office. Yes. I wish I had an office here. I could have. Oh, wow. Every day. I wish I worked. I mean, I do. You know, I have my own bit, my own business, but I need to find. Let me see the tow truck out there. Lord, somebody car about to get towed. Jesus on the highway. yeah but um i'm building my business i'm trying to finish this year with um unexpectations yeah like i want my business to like boom grow in the next six months i plan on making at least a hundred thousand dollars in the next six months. I just pray that like my business just flourished like out of nowhere. And I'm like, where all these orders come from? Yeah. Because with my boutique, you could order and I don't have it on hand. You can still order. I allow you to still order if even if I don't have it. Oh, honey. Yep. So, I'm I'm trying. I'm well. I'm speaking all of this into existence because it got to happen. Oh my goodness! Somebody coughing and get told y'all. What in the world? <laughs> Somebody cop out to get repossessed or something. Cause ain't nothing wrong with them cars over there. Ain't nothing wrong with them cars over there. Yep, I'm being nosy, y'all. I'm being nosy. Jesus on the highway, y'all. Lord have mercy. We ain't got to worry about that ever happening to us. Lord knows we don't. We owes no car notes. None whatsoever. Mm. Like. That is so embarrassing. Like, I remember one time my car got repossessed. The car got repossessed. I forgot why. I do remember. <laughs> I think I remember. I remember being in a car accident. Yeah, I had to take my ring off and put it over here because it's so itchy over here. I do remember being in a car accident. And I think I was afraid to, like, let them know and... I ducked off and <laughs> you said run out and stop them. 
Uh-uh, honey. <laughs> I'm not stopping. Nobody who get in their car repo, you know, they be having tasers and everything. They be wanting to tase you. No goodness. But it went so smooth when um I, I got the car repossessed or whatever. Like, when they came and my neighbors was outside, girl, I started a whole conversation. I was like, yeah, I had, um, <laughs> I said, yeah, I told them to come and get the car because, um, we getting our doors customized or whatever. Like, I basically made a lie. Like, they was coming to pick up the car from the house so that um they could fix the car. And that car never came back. I, I planned on going to get it back, though. I just never did. I don't know why, but... Apparently, they must know that this car is getting repoed. Mm. Anywho. Hey, Jill. How are you, queen? Thank you for coming. Hi, you love. I'm over here being nosy. Is, is that a peeping Tom? When you're being nosy on your neighbors, I will let y'all see, but I don't want to sound too invasive. I don't want to put nobody on the spot. Y'all, I need a good hair. I need my hair done bad. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I'm doing great. Having a wonderful morning. I'm feeling good, y'all. I've been cleansing my face. See, y'all can't tell that it's doing good. But I could tell. Oh, that's another pimple that came to the head. Oh, them, them pimples and everything come to a head really, really fast. I didn't bust it or anything. But there's this... Um, I made a video on yesterday where I um, uploaded it. And y'all need to watch it because I'm sharing some products that um I just learned about from this um she's from Nigeria I believe yeah but it was an African Caribbean store and y'all she put me on game with this pimple and spot remover type ish uh soap but it is a germicide soap and it's called Hmm. I can't think of what it's called. But it start with it start with an L. But you will see it in my video if y'all go and check it out. But y'all, literally, like I just started using this is day number five. And I had like pimples and everything. Like they was huge. And I started using it. She told me to put it on before I go to sleep and leave it on until the morning. And when I tell you that stuff really works, I even use it on my daughter's face because she got bit by some mosquitoes. And um, when she gets bit, they swell up really bad. And um, I put it on her and in two days, well, actually the next morning, the it the swelling went down. And then I this is her third day. I put it on her, like the third night I put it on her and I washed it off in the morning. And they like literally like drew them all to a ahead or whatever which is really really good because sometimes that doesn't happen until like later on within a week so it takes about a week for heaven to heal but um i am very excited that she, like i'm impressed um she gave gave me this soap to use for my acne because i wouldn't never know what to call these i guess it is acne because i keep getting pimples because i never had pimples but I also realized that my skin is getting clear. Like, oh, he pulling his car up on the, uh, okay, y'all, see? He pulling his car up on the tow truck, his own self. So, obviously, he's going to get something done. He said, uh-uh, you ain't finna pull my car out the driveway. I'm going to drive it up on the uh, truck. I know that's right. Oh, he ain't getting repo.
that's how you shut some neighbors up right there. That's how you shut some neighbors up. But yeah, so only thing I got to do is continue to use the soap. But I looked in the mirror today and y'all, I got pictures. It is like really doing good for me. Like for real. Um, you said, Jill said, I have so many products I've brought in and have yet to try. Girl, give it a try. I am so impressed with these, um, this soap. Like, I feel like it's literally healed my skin. Oh, I think I feel, maybe that was there already. But everything is like literally flat now. I'm so happy. Like, they all came up to a head. And that I mean, was just a healing process. It's just only up from here. I'm just super excited. I'm super happy. Because I need my skin back. You have these, the ones you have first, right? All these things I brought over the past year, I haven't used. Why you haven't used them? I feel like if I'm buying something... I got to go ahead and use, I don't know. I, I'm finna go ahead and use mine. Like, I needed that. I really needed it. I've been using, like, I tried this uh, Nutri, what is it? Clean and Clear. The Clean and Clear didn't really help me. It seemed like it was at first. And I was using the black soap. The black soap was working, but it wasn't working, which it probably still will work. I just need to stay consistent. But um, this soap right here, it's a blue bar soap. This soap right here, I feel like it's going to work real good. Because this soap really, like, it's a healing Medicaid, medi yeah, medi hmm. Medicated soap. I don't know why I want to say Medicaid. I've been, you've been too busy. Oh, my goodness. You are an awesome creator. Like, I love to watch you, Jill. Like, you really have so much talent. Like, you really deserve to be on the cooking show. Like, you need to go. You need to be applying for some cooking shows. Yes, Miss Lady. Your content is just fabulous. I wish I had to drive to cook and explain and all that while I was cooking. Which I think I can, but I don't have the talent that you have when it comes to cooking. Maybe I do, but... I just haven't got the energy. Jill says, my skin is so sensitive. So when I start using them, I want to pay attention just in case I break out. I want to be able to pinpoint what caused it. Correct. That's the same thing. Me too. Um, That's why uh, I, I'm going to just focus on this one soap, which is this new soap I have that I'm telling y'all that was in my video. I'm going to focus on that one soap because I was using alcohol which is bad like we shouldn't be using like alcohol on our face i heard use witch hazel instead but i was using the alcohol first to clean my skin and then i will go right behind it with the um the clean and clear which has ginseng and vitamin c in it i was cleaning my face with that in the morning with my scrubby and then i would come right behind it with the black soap so I don't know what that was doing for me, but it really wasn't drying my face out. It really wasn't. But um, at one point it did, but it really wasn't. Like, I do have oily skin. So now, okay, and then right after that, I stopped using all of the products in one. So I started just only using the black soap. The black soap did seem like it was kind of working. And it grows your edges too, y'all. Mm -hmm. It grows. Because my edges are thin, y'all, because I don't, you know, wear... I've been had like edge edges problems since I was like in the ninth grade. Yeah, since I was like in the ninth grade, y'all. Physical altercation. And once my hair got snatched out, it was it's been so hard for my hair to grow. On top of me having having unhealthy hairstyles and things like that, just keep continue to thin my edges out over the years. Like it'll grow. And I throw some glue on it or some gel on my hair causing my hair to continuously um grow thin so now 
I I'm having a st struggle. Like I'm struggling to keep my edges to be thick. So I am now discovering that um, black soap actually grows thin hair. You can shampoo your hair with it. Like um, I think there's a recipe where you can put the black soap and some apple cider vinegar, shake it up and everything. You can make you some shampoo. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, you do, hon. I'm still learning. Oh, yeah. I mean, but you really got the patience and the you got you got all the talent there is to um have a cooking show. Like that's amazing. Like your show is so professional. It is. I did a cooking challenge. Uh, me and Mama McCrazy did a cook off, y'all. If y'all did not watch that cook off, I would really love for y'all to watch it, y'all. Like we did, the way I did it, it was like I was on the cooking show, and I really enjoyed it. Like it was super fun. Like the commentary behind it, like it was super fun. It was lit. I really felt like that video was gonna go viral, and it could still go viral one day if we can all get push that video, but that video was lit and we supposed to be doing a part two so we supposed to be doing another one but we haven't yet so let me see i've seen something pop up yeah you would do great if you was to go on the cooking show Jill said, it's hard to explain what to use in ingredients because I like to cook. Oh, mm. you sound like my mama. My mama like that. Like, she don't really, like, have a, a a set recipe. I don't really have a set recipe. Like, sometimes, like, even, like, when me and Mama McCrazy did the cook-off, she was like, oh, what you use? How do you make your spaghetti? So we made spaghettis. And no one, like, I did not know that it was many different ways to make spaghetti. Like, I never knew that. So the way she made spaghetti, I never heard anyone make spaghetti that way. Like, she had the spaghetti that was in the, the pack um, made by McCormick's. I never seen spaghetti inside of a pack. I always seen it inside of a jar. So when she sh when she sent me her recipe, I was getting discouraged because I was like, I'm never going to find this. And I could not find it. It took me so long to find this dang on uh, spaghetti sauce. I couldn't even find it on Amazon. No, I could find it on Amazon, but we planned on doing it within a certain time limit which was going to throw me all out, off track. So I was like, I ain't going I ain't going to get the but baby, I, w I went to like so many different stores and I went to uh, one store that had one pack and then I went to another store and they had another one. I was like, okay, we in there. So yeah, I found, I found the uh, spaghetti sauce packs. And then when I went back the next month to the store, I made sure I got a couple of them packs because I was like, never again. I was, I love the way Mama Crazy's um, spaghetti uh, recipe Tastes, oh my goodness, magnificent. It was so good. And she loved mine. So we all have different recipes. And the one that she gave me was passed down from her grandmother. And it was the bomb. I said, I'll never make my spaghetti the same. However, I made spaghetti last night and I did not use her recipe. But it was still good. Like, I love the way mine tastes. It tastes a little different than I normally make it because I didn't have the W sauce, as Jill says. I didn't have that W sauce. Like I like to put the W sauce inside of my spaghetti, and as it, you know, as I do the fry the meat, like make um, brown the meat and everything. So that's one thing, and I like to put say song in it as well that I did not include. So there's a lot of things that I include in my spaghetti that she doesn't include in hers. So and I like to bake my spaghetti too. I didn't bake it last night, but I like to bake my spaghetti and I like to put cheese and hot um pepperonis on the top of mine. So it's almost like um it's almost like a, a pizza spaghetti which I saw um what's his name? Um Ray Mac Grill. Maybe it was Ray Mac Grill. No, it wasn't Ray Mac Grill. It was. Um, hmm. 
I can't think of his name, but I saw somebody um do that. Um, and he was so excited thinking that they made it up, but honey, they ain't make that baked spaghetti that piece of spaghetti up as he called it. Dang, what was his name? Hmm. I can't think of his YouTube channel name. It's time for this carpet to get cleaned again. Um Jill says, I always switch things up while I'm cooking. I get ideas that just pops up while I'm cooking, but have to stay on course. Stay on course because I don't want to confuse anyone. Right. You right. I noticed that you um was taking out some ingredients as you were coming through. Oh yeah, I hate measuring too. I just try to uh guess as much as possible. You know, you can measure with your eyes. Joy says, maybe that may be something new and innovative. Okay. The W sauce is the wishes to show your sauce. However you say it, Joy. <laughs> wishes to show your sauce. Wish your Chester sauce. I don't know how to say the W sauce. Yes, everyone makes their spaghetti different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I can't say or pronounce. I can't spell it. That's one word. If you can get somebody to spell that word in five seconds, in less than five seconds, ooh, we should have like a spelling bee on YouTube. No cheating. Like on girls night. Like let's have a spelling bee. Who can spell the word correctly the first time without cheating? Like don't cheat. Y'all, we might play that game this Friday. I had wanted to do a game. I did a game like uh, last Friday and nobody um, came. I wanted to uh, do a uh, reward those who won run their playlists and stuff like that but no content creators came in friday i don't know why but that's that's i don't know but anyway we should play like a spelling bee because who can spell that word like in five seconds like that is so hard like the correct way and i would have to get these hard words um ahead of time I'm like write them down on my end and you know see you know I that way I can have like a you know answer sheet right there with me so that I can see if the answer is right or not and who says it correctly first that would be so great a spelling bee mm -hmm. the hardest words to ever pronounce type of spelling bee Joy says, I saw you live, but I knew I wasn't going to be able to stay long. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yep. I understand. I do um go live late. Um, I was hoping that, you know, on Saturdays, I mean, on Fridays slash Saturdays, that more people could come in with me doing it later because it's Saturday and a lot of people be up on Saturday nights. But i don't know i'm thinking about i was thinking about ending girls night really soon like after this friday like end it ending girls night i don't know y'all mm -hmm. yep yeah. i don't know i'm thinking about ending it so why end it because it's like i was telling a few of my um youtube um sisters that i talked to on the phone it started to get like i i feel like i'm losing i like i don't have it together like i'm still trying to find topics and things like that like i don't have anybody to come on and help me run the show like i want guests i want people to come up and talk and stuff like that and we keep having the same faces, which is okay. We keep having, like, the same faces and stuff like that. But I would really like it for... I was hoping and expecting I could get different people up there, you know, every week. And talk, but... 
Oh no. Kinda just getting boring. Yeah. Venture out of other people's chat. Yeah, I would like to, but you know, girl, I'd be scared to uh, mention anything because back when you, before I was monetized, like I was told, you you got to ask permission before you started. You start promoting anything on your channel, on other people's channel. So I just ain't got time to be making, you know, feeling no type of way. Yeah, I be trying to um get out there. Okay, you right. Yep, yeah, it's scary. You can always ask. Yeah, you right. I don't know. I just be trying to be careful. Y'all, I am trying to jump, get out of the sleepiness. Like, this is one huge cup of coffee, okay? And it say just one a day. But I still get tired. Like, I am super tired, y'all. I've been up since about 5.30. I am super tired. I'm almost, like, crashing out. Like, I need to find something to do. Which I can't. Like, it's hard. With a baby. But I'm not going to stay on here long. I'm not going to hold y'all. Um, I just wanted to come and show my face. And have someone to talk to. I thank y'all so much. I really do. And, um. I'll check y'all out really soon. I'll come back and visit y'all. And everything. I think y'all. I'm going to just go ahead and close out. I'm getting tired. Getting so sleepy. I hate it. Maybe I need some rest. Maybe I do. I'm going to get some work done. Alright. Good to see you all too. Y'all be blessed. i see y'all next time. Take care. A lot of YouTube names are funny, Stay. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, you do the same, love. Oh, so vitamins may help. Okay, I need to get me some vitamins because I be so tired. Jesus on the highway. It's getting it's coming along. I'm getting it together. Well, all right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Love you all.